Hello everyone and welcome back to Surviving Mars. We are doing a 10, not 10,000. Why I always want to say 10,000? So a thousand percent difficulty challenge and basically we are after some kind of dust storm or something like that. I don't really remember and also these things are not too encouraging. But anyway, let's uh, look around, let's check how this colony is. We have the dome here, we have some power support, but these are also need to be repaired. And I don't think we can repair them. Okay, this will be interesting. Also, I got a really good tip uh, from you. In the previous uh, episode, I started to build these rock formations and try to protect uh, our stuff from dust devils. And apparently it is working. So dust devils can break on these. So we will build a few, uh, a few more around the colony. Okay, let's go. And we have a dust devil right here. Okay, we have a priority here. That's good. And we are producing three per day with polymer factory. And then I guess we just have to wait a little bit until these uh, stuff can be fixed. What really worries me that we haven't heard anything about uh, the mystery so far. Come on, break on it, or move away from it. Yep, it can shield us. And we can demolish them, so that's another good point. Uh, let's check quickly the planetary anomalies. We can go for a breakthrough. No technologies, don't have botany. Uh, we can go for a breakthrough with seven drones. That possibility, an unknown. unknown, research progress, scientist. So we can get another breakthrough. Interesting. Maybe we should we should do that. So we have. Uh, a bit more options and I do believe we have yeah research nine breakthroughs so there's that as well we have a ton of fuel so, so let's send this expedition it will be a quick one as well so I don't see why not make some polymers and I think uh, to really start this colony this dome we will need at least 10 more souls so we will have enough uh, what you call it resources to finish every building there Okay, one uh, power accumulator is fixed. And what are we researching? Oh, moisture farming. And I believe we already research... Uh, yeah, the factory amplifications. And the upgrade is already installed on both of these. Discovered. Okay, what's the breakthrough? Oh, that's nice, but we, it's not used to us because we already called that one rocket we were allowed to. Oh, 
Okay, now I think uh, I play a little bit more and I see if I can fix everything and maybe have some uh, reserves of resources. And then I get back to you. So we have found a new anomaly here and this will give us a breakthrough technology and we will soon discover uh, what's that. And then I show you around and I show what has changed. Breakthrough discovered. Inspiring architecture. Columnists in domes with a spire have increased morale. That's a good one. <clears throat> For research, I decided to start uh, on the terraforming because this can improve temperature and even if just slowly, but uh, we can get shorter and shorter cold waves. And they are researching deep scanning. Do we really need that? Well, we might need that, yeah. Because I don't know when we can reach uh, the Moho mine. Also, research the moisture evaporators. So now we have unlimited uh, uh, water, as long as we have metals and polymers. So the deep water extraction is not a concern anymore. Oh, we have the meteor defense system. That's kind of very important. And we haven't researched this also a concern. Water comes from the dumps reduced by 50%. That's also a good one. Well, faster graduation would be nice if we already have, but we will soon have uh, a university. And this would also help a lot completing one of our objectives. Is there a research amplification technology? I believe. And I think the Moho mine is in the robotics column. Let's put that there. Okay, now the first major change that I put down the shuttle hub so it will be easier to transport goods uh, to this colony or this dome and as you can see I'm starting to construct some buildings and also some rock formations because we had a dust devil coming in right there and destroying a few of or not destroying or malfunctioning a couple of buildings and we can't have that and no you don't go back for metals you will collect these base rocks and you will move them to here and hopefully you don't run into that Come on, disappear. Go to the crater and disappear. It can move into the crater. Look at it, it's just right in the way. And it's going towards the colony. Come on, remove yourself from existence.
sector scanned. Oh, I'm not gonna know more. That's a research one. We have to think about how to use that. Let's think about it. I think it's, it's good uh, the way it is. We already have an explorer there. Can climb mountains. Damn it. And dust the wheels. I think the atmosphere is preventing the dust to fall. Okay, we have an apartment. Anomaly analyzed. Whoa! We have a lot of old people died. And we have a cold wave right? Six souls. See, that's why we need the the things. Oh, you are frozen. Not enough power. Well, let's build two more of these before you freezes. Before it freezes. Oh damn, that's sector scanned. Let's upgrade two of polymer blades. Oh hell no! Yes, go away. Don't Resources even look are low. at the general direction of this dome. And I think we have check on the other colony as well the other dome how's the electricity situation here wow it's quite severe okay we can, we can turn this off and turn this off We will have a severe power shortage. And this guy is open. Well, I think we have no other choice. Ten polymers, damn it! But we need to do this. Unfortunately. I wanted to wait until we will have uh, uh, electronics production. But we need to build one. Oh, because those are frozen. No, so I, I can't let this stop. the water tanks are frozen so the plan here we try to survive this cold wave and then we can populate this storm okay we are at the, almost the end of the cold wave and end of an the age day claimed our last living founder spelling the end of an era for us all rest in peace friend So we are slowly getting through. I managed to build this third generator, so that's uh, a great help. 
and I'm tempted to build uh, one here, but uh, still I haven't built the electronics factory, and I do believe the electronics factory needs electronics. Yeah. So I think what we have to do is to build it. So we cannot run out accidentally electronics and we don't have enough to build it. And when the cold wave finally ends, uh, we can start moving uh, colonists there. had to use this heavy workload so they can produce a little bit of more and more quickly polymers because we really really need them it doesn't need polymers please. sector scanned and as you can see guys uh, we have to do more for energy here and I believe the cheapest way right now is to uh, put down a few more uh, solar panels. So I think I would do just that. Like six of them will be enough. Which means we have to collect more metal. And the only resource is surface deposits. Oh, but there's a lot. But the longer we travel. Oh, power surge. What's that? The number of red lights go off. Uh, a spark starts to fly from the terminal that monitors our power network. Uh, stress on one of our power networks causing a massive power surge. There's a serious threat of overloading the entire network if we don't do something quickly. <laughs> Panic! And the cold wave is still not ended. But we are close. So shut down 10 power producers for 3 souls. We have a lot of them, so... We have 12 hours of the cold wave. Sector scanned. Oh, power lasts for 0 hours. Nice. Okay, we close this one. Okay, that helped. And we have a leak there. But nobody lives here, so that's not a problem for now. But having no metals here, that's a problem. Oh no! Okay, we have to fix him. Once these dust devils are gone. Because he's starting to run low on metals. Sector scanned. A new anomaly. Oh, right here. Yeah, we also research deep scanning, if I didn't mention that. And we are now scanning uh, the immediate area of our colonies. 
check if there is any good resources. And then I think that we should return to scanning these so we can get a research boost from scanning the entire map. No, I didn't want to do that. To do this. Okay, and now back up the droids and get the hell away. We can risk this. Oh, and that 50 metals means 45 is on the transport. No, the transport hasn't got any. Okay. Well, it's not okay, but still, it means we have still 50. Also, what we need, and we can turn this back on. stop that so we will have unemployed and we are building well this would be the best but that cost us a lot of polymers and metals so until we can do that we are putting down an infirmary and we open this more colonists. Okay, this speaks. We can go. Uh, let's let's go to the further away here. Carrying concrete. All right, we have to keep eye on our concrete reserves. We have plenty for now. But that could change quickly. And we have to wait until these guys bring in colonists here. Sector scanned. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the barren environs of the Red Very Planet dangerous. than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. Okay. It's also good. Very, very good. Yeah, and that's the other thing. I, I kind of have the feeling or the need for more research, but we don't have the people for that. Unfortunately, we don't have the people for that. But quicker research would solve uh, quite a few problems. Which means we need scanned. Oh close but not close enough.
Okay, now people are moving here. My concern that we have a lot of middle-aged folk. And if they are dying out, maybe maybe the it wasn't a good idea to have the penalty on birth here. With the overcrowded or, or the homeless penalty. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Oh. We have to fix this. Because we will run out of fuel. The other issue is here is food. So I have to down the pot and let's how many how much do we have? Not much. In fact we need a farm here. Because when the dust storm hits, these guys cannot fly. Okay, now I'm very... I'm regretting very, very much not finishing this. Is this ledge can break that? Sector scanned. Well, all in all, we could use another transport. To be perfectly honest. Among forty was the maximum amount of people. We need. We need more. We have. Have too many middle aged men. That will be a problem soon. Fifty five comfort. Oh, the comfort is very good. Okay. The children can be born here. My plan is to build another dome here, right next to it, and uh, connect them. So this could be have a, a, a good base of operation. Because this one was like, oh, we have to bring people on Mars quickly. So that's why we did... Oh, oh. There's a lot of food there. Research complete. But ultimately we need more people. We need a lot more people. And there will be another problem, when the middle-aged uh, turn to senior, they stop working. And the middle-aged is the bulk of our working force. So after that we will have 14 workers. At least the dust on will increase our Electronics production, so there will be no problem there. And I think we have enough oxygen and water to last.
Oh wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, water. Okay, but these can. Yeah, the water extractors will produce water. Okay. How about oxygen? Eleven source. That will be enough. Yeah, we need to put down these uh, and scan. rely on this production because during a dust storm they will stop so the water extractor can uh, step in until we get rid of the dust storms. back then we will transport some waste rock so we can finish that yeah for this exact reason no you got lucky And here's the dust storm. Wish me luck, guys. Oh. The monitor shows only static as rover GPS tracks shown an error message. We have lost contact with for rover RC commander. No! We believe that the problem was caused by the dust storm and hopefully we'll be able to locate it easily once the storm is over. No, re no reason to worry, we can wait. No, we cannot fucking wait, but... Oh, because it was out here, damn it. Okay, the explorers are next to the base. You will be also next to the base, and you will remain here. You know what? Because that will cancel the auto transfer. Okay, we have trouble here. We ran out of machine parts. We don't have electricity, and and people Meteor are freezing. Incoming. And I'll be also have a leak there. Which we cannot repair because we don't have metals here. Okay, come on, fix that. So they will have power. We have to repair that, and I think we don't have concrete. That's great. And we don't have shuttles because of... Okay, the storm is over, so the shuttles will bring concrete here, but I think we have to bring uh, a good deal of concrete there, just to be safe. The satellite image shows our missing rover completely shut down and covered in a pile of red motion dust. From that we can tell from the cameras the rover has suffered critical malfunction. We have no idea how it ended up in its current location. We will need to send drones to repair the malfunctioning rover. Wow. Okay. And what we need is this.
Okay, I, I think I will save. Uh, wait a minute. We can make a passage here, can we? Can't we? No, we can't. Well, if we build it long enough for the drones, we might be able to do that. Okay, so let's rescue that rover. Or at least try it. So. Around there, okay. This might just work. Sector scanned. Well, I have a bad feeling about this meteor storm. I think this is the this is the point when it won't be nice to us. So let's quickly save scan. Oh, yes, because... Do we have machine parts? We don't have machine parts here. Damn it. That's not our concern. Let's... Fix the water supply. Unemployed? You kidding me? We have unemployed here. And sorry, heavy workload for you as well. Yeah, that was I was afraid of. Meteor incoming. Okay, guys. Safe scam. Resources are low. Okay, let's see if we can survive this time around. And I totally forgot about this, the breakthrough. Meteor incoming. 
Okay, so now it's hitting the other clone side. Well, if it's move away from us. Charge. That's it. Meteor in ah, and then now you can go here. Okay, we can afford to lose some oxygen. Why is not enough water? Scanned. It's working. What? What's the problem? Oh, because that is leaking. Okay, do we ha we have nettles? Okay. Once you have been fixed, you will go and collect your drones. Oh! That's helpful! Okay, now... We need technologies with uh, passive positive effects. We do this just in case. Our colonists are suffocating. We only. Okay, we have trouble. Come on, there's metal there. Fix that. Okay, no more suffocation. At least we solved that problem. Okay, these guys having a rough time, I can say that. We're still not producing enough children. Research complete. Crop failure reported. We can have more here. Another crop failure. Okay, you will do this uh, clover crops until... Oh, damn! Sector scanned. Oh, good, we have two children here. They can work in the factory. I think, guys, what uh, what I didn't do well, I should have done this heavy workload much, much more often. I think that was an overall mistake, which can cost uh, this run.
grew up, grew up really quickly. Now let's see what uh, this big two will have us. No, no refinement. All extractors can interact with small amounts when their deposit is depleted. Hmm. Not bad, but I would like to have the one which makes the minings working without a crew. Also, I decided to start uh, researching the factory AI. Because that will give us a lot of uh, uh, production boost without power consumption but Resources of course we need uh, electronics for that upgrade so i moved some workers here and i also try to increase our polymer output so we can uh, upgrade these with polymer Sector blades stand. and have a little bit of uh, more uh, power more disposal because when the cold wave hits, this will have an insane amount of energy need, and I don't know if we can really afford to shut it down. That's the problem. So let's build more polymer blades. And we should upgrade that as well. We, we need a ton of polymer right now. The comfort is good enough. And well, we have 16 workers if the middle aged are aged out. Morale is good. The average health is very good. In that case, we need a heavier workload for the next shift. Well, I will set the heavy workload, I think, in the next episode because uh, I will end it here. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you in the next one. Oh, and please, if you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are haven't. I see you in the next one. Bye.